Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to How I Did It. Well, I've kind of neglected filming the bees through the winter. Um, they weren't real busy on the landing board areas. I had a feeder station set up for them, the 17 gallon black tote that you can buy at Home Depot. I actually purchased two of them. I had a pollen substitute in the bottom and a two to one sugar water in the top. None of them are having anything to do with that though right now. They are just out foraging and as you can see they are bringing stuff back in like crazy. They are doing fantastic. So about maybe two weeks ago I added the Honey Flow Hive back on top of the Langstrop box with all the Langstrop regular frames and these girls have moved into that honey flow hive and are working like crazy filling in the gaps with propolis and getting it ready for the big honey flow. Now here's a look at where I'll actually be harvesting the honey out of and you can see the girls are coming up. A lot of them are just there on the queen extruder right now but they'll actually work up to the frame a little on the frames a little bit later when it really warms up. In the morning you know, it's kind of the same view, but by the afternoon, they're up there and just busy little bees. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. And then here's just a side view, looking at the side glass. And this will give you kind of an idea, you know, at night how cool it is, the condensation on the, the interior of the glass. You know, and these girls, by midday, they, uh, they have fanned it all out and apparently moved all the humidity out because this condensation is actually gone. It's pretty cool. It's really neat watching them work it, that's for sure. Now as you can see, it's cool enough right now with me out there that I'm in long sleeves. I got a sweat jacket on. That's about it. Still running around in shorts and tennis shoes. It's not cool enough to have long pants and obviously the girls are just loving this weather. Now that red reducer, that was great for the hive beetles. The little holes you see up there, they can't make it past there and they fall down through so they can't even get into the front entrance. With everything else sealed up, you know, it just keeps these girls safe. And again, I purchased that from Daniel at Barnyard Bees. Now this is actually footage a couple days later that I had taken. Again, the weather is still just a little bit chilly out in the morning when you, you first start out where you need long sleeves or you know maybe a sweater or a sweat jacket or something on. And then by the time that you know afternoon sun hits, it is just absolutely wonderful. And these girls are absolutely loving life. It amazes me that they're still alive and they're thriving so well, especially with all the hiccups. <laughs> that I had after I had first gotten them. But they're resilient and it's amazing. They are so gentle. These Italian bees, I'm telling you what, they, uh, they are absolutely amazing. Truly, truly amazing. I just love sitting and watching them. Fascinating, very fascinating. Now here again we'll take a look and as I said the, the sun's up a little bit more. It's a little bit later in the day when I actually filmed this and you can see between their fanning at that entrance and the bees doing what bees do, I mean they have just cleared all condensation out of the inside of this box. And again this is the equivalent of a Langstrop 10 frame. There's actually seven 
of the flow hive frames in there, but it's the size is the equivalent of a 10 frame Langstroth hive. Now this is looking at where I will be harvesting the honey from, and you can see the girls up in there working. Um, if you look back towards the back, you can see that they they have those frames lined out fairly well, as well as they're coming up through the bottom of that clean, queen extruder. I think they're um, bringing the products in with, you know, again, the propolis, getting everything sealed, and then lining things with honey or with uh, wax so they can uh, put the honey in. Is that how it works? I don't know. You're talking to a rookie beekeeper here. All righty, then let's uh, give them their privacy and let them do their thing. And I will thank you all very much for watching my channel and the questions that you proposed to me and just laughing along with me <laughs> as I mess so many things up. Again, if you like my channel, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends. I really appreciate it. And I will let you all watch my B-roll. Haha. -ha. <laughs> and I'll see you all next week on How I Did It. Have an absolutely wonderful and blessed day.